How's it going guys? I'm going to attempt to explain my vacuum line and fuel evaporative control system uh, set up on my 1983 SC and uh, I'm gonna go through this diagram in the workshop manual that is actually from 1980 and up however um, it's missing a few things. I don't know if this is simply a pre-1983 version, um, but I went ahead and had to uh, research and uh, write down some notes to kind of uh, make sure that it applies to my, uh, my my particular setup. In particular, all the vacuum lines are here in this 1980 and up uh, diagram. However, it's missing a vacuum line that uh, is present on top of the warm-up regulator. So after doing some research on the Pelican Parts forums with some some experts, here is um, what my setup is supposed to look like. On the throttle body, there are four small vacuum line ports. Uh, there is a big one. A, a, on the front, there is a large port that connects to your vacuum booster assembly. That's a no-brainer, that's the only one, and uh, uh, the only one like it on the assembly, and uh, it is connected correctly. There are also four smaller ports for uh, very small diameter vacuum hoses. There is a front upper and a front lower, a rear upper and a rear lower. The front upper connection is supposed to go to the distributor advance. The front lower is supposed to go to your D-cell valve, the rear upper is supposed to go to the warm-up regulator uh, connection and the rear lower is supposed to go to the distributor retard. Now, on my particular setup, my vacuum can on my distributor is dead. It does not work anymore and these parts are no longer available. So I had my distributor rebuilt and the can disconnected so it's a dummy can. It does not, it no longer works. So in order to get the same vacuum advanced and retard functions, I have a parts classic programmable CDI where the advanced and retard vacuum uh, connections actually are controlled by this unit. So um, I'm doing this diagram uh, along with um, these connections instead of putting them on the uh, distributor vacuum can. So let's go through and see if my setup is correct. I'm just gonna prop it right here in the engine compartment because I have really bad memory. So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the front ones first. Front upper, distributor advance, front lower uh, D-cell valve. The front ports are back here, which is actually the front of the throttle body. There's the throttle body, and it, you can't see the upper vacuum hose from here, but you can feel it. I can reach back there and, and touch it. It's a vacuum line with a braided um, outer covering. That one is the uppermost connection the lowermost connection you can see right right there that's a smooth uh, vacuum line that the only reason I put those two differently is so that I could tell them apart by just feeling back there um, upper one goes to the distributor uh, it, I'll show you in a minute this lower one goes to the D-cell valve let's look at the lower one lower one go loops around behind this entire assembly and it goes there, connects to that that can, which is the D-cell valve down there. The distributor advance behind here loops around, and I've got it actually right, right here. It's um, they're bound together, but here's the line. This guy, these are both my advance and retard lines. So one of these goes down here, 
there's my advanced line right there which goes to the CDI box which now has the vacuum connection on the bottom the rear points are rear connections are rear upper goes to the warm-up regulator vent rear lower goes to the distributor retard There's a rear upper connection, and you can see it goes from there, this short curly line, and it goes here, to this connection on top of the warm-up regulator, right there. The lower one, which is a little bit obscured, again, is one of these two lines. Remember, my advanced one is right next to it. It just, it's this one, looping around from the front. Here's my distributor retard. These are both kind of uh, bound together. They both go down here together, both the advanced and retard. And I've temporarily labeled them advanced and retard. And they both go into the CDI at the bottom here. The CDI box has a red dot and a blue dot to let you know um, where, where to connect the advanced and the retard. And I've already double checked them. And I have ran my fingers and, you know, followed them to where they need to go. So it looks like my vacuum lines are all correct. Now let's look at my fuel vapor setup. It all centers around this uh, charcoal canister right here. This is the back of the canister. You've got a big line and a small line. The small line goes to basically goes to the fuel tank. And there's a big line also coming out the back that goes into my air filter. So, there's the can right there. You can't, can't really see, but there's a large line right there that I can't focus on. And there's a little line right below it. A little line, which you could barely see right there. That little line goes out the back of the canister Back over here, it's, can't focus, it's this guy right here, loops around and then it drops behind the cross member and it goes down into the, uh, and the, towards the fuel tank. The large line, which is right there, goes behind the engine, right here, this very large cloth covered line and connects over here to the air filter. Now the missing component that I that I need is there's the other connection right there which is supposed to be this one on the opposite side and that is supposed to be connected to a tube that comes out of the fan shroud which I currently do not have. It's not present anywhere on here and I don't know if it was eliminated or or what the deal is but there is supposed to be if you look at the path here positive pressure from under the shroud is supposed to blow air up through the charcoal canister and then it's supposed to get sucked into the air filter while the engine is running and uh, while that's happening fuel vapors are drawn out of the fuel tank and uh, burned into the combustion, combustion chamber and not uh, going off into the atmosphere. So that tells me that I need to figure out a way to get a connection from the shroud over there to the back of the can. I think it might go here because there's a little grommet that I used or rather a rubber closeout plug to cover up a hole in the shroud and I don't know if that is supposed to, was supposed to have some kind of a tube that then, you know, makes its way over here and connects to the front. However, if uh, I'm going to do some more research and if that is the case, I may connect it. Otherwise, what I can still do is cap off this front connection. And even without the positive pressure from the um, cooling fan, the air filter will still suck in air from here, which will then suck in 
fuel vapors from the tank. So looks like our vacuum line and fuel vapor line assembly is complete. Um, we're actually getting very close here to starting this engine up. We've got a fully rebuilt 3 liter uh, resealed gearbox and uh, basically an entire mechanical redo of the car. Oil lines, oil cooler, brakes, um, shifter and everything. So I'll post up shortly how, uh, how the startup goes. Thanks for watching.